My name's Jim Johnson. We're standing here right in the middle of a pavilion at International Village at the Jack Daniels International Cooking Competition this year. International cooking means they're from all over the world. I have Frederick and his team from France. They're here. They're admiring some of the cookers here. They're getting some ideas, uh, thinking about things to go back. Right now we have several smokers going. We're having an international dinner. On Thursday night, we cook for the international cooking teams here at the Jack Daniels, here in the International Village. So we're cooking for about 150 people tonight that are going to come over and enjoy some barbecue. So we have pulled pork going right now. So we have Boston butts going on the grill right now. We have a grill going back here. We have ribs. So we're going to have baby back ribs. We're going to have pulled pork sandwiches. We're going to have baked beans. We're going to have potato salad, coleslaw. I think we're even going to fire up a paella back here and do a paella tonight with uh, chicken and sausage in it. We're going to do banana pudding. We have banana puddings tonight. So it's going to be a great time, great meal and everything. It's a great way to show southern hospitality to all our friends that come here from International Village to cook at the Invitational Barbecue. What happens is, is we're here... We're used to barbecue. That's second nature for us, for you guys and everything. It's a brand new uh, trend, cooking American-style competition barbecue. Most of the time, most of the teams here now had to win a competition just to get in a draw, just like our domestic teams do. So congratulations to you guys for, for big, making the draw, coming here to the Jack and everything. So we're going to have a great time. We're going to have a great meal tonight and great fellowship. So we've had a wonderful time so far, and I hope everybody comes out and enjoys it, stops in, says hi to you guys, stops in, says hi to us, and I think it will be a great time for everybody tonight. Now, if y'all would take a microphone and tell us what you do back home when you're not going to barbecue. Je parle pas moi. Good France. Yeah, so back in France, uh, we're doing barbecue as well. I have a smokehouse restaurant in Montpellier, which is south of France. And Mathieu and Jérôme, they're doing catering, big catering. Uh, Jérôme is in south of France as well. Mathieu is from uh, Lyon. And... Um, and that's it. <laughs> hey, but, you know, you enjoy we love barbecue. barbecue. <laughs> we love barbecue. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's and we're really it. glad to be here and Good. really yeah. excited as well. And yeah, that's it. <laughs> okay. I'm Vesa Hyppara from Finland, and this is our team, Sweaty Hogs, over here. And we won the Finnish Championship Barbecue in Finland, Tampere, and that's why we are here. And we are doing all kinds of stuff back in Finland. I do barbecue catering and also construction work. And these guys do lots of stuff. One is, one is a pilot. Yeah, this is a pilot. Yeah. And I don't know those guys. <laughs> they have so. I manage procurement pretty much. So just boring old up. Uh, the one that we won was our first competition. And this is now our third competition where we are, so we're kind of a new one. I think we are making some kind of a history here. Hi hey guys, we are Team Barbecue War from New Zealand. This is Wayne, I'm John and Mark. We uh, all come from Auckland. Wayne's what do you do when you're not cooking barbecue and what you're willing to get here? Uh, Wayne's an engineer, I'm a truck driver and Mark's a sign. Yeah, jack of all trades. Jack of all trades and sign writing. Uh, we won Wellington, uh, Brewtown, and Wayne will tell you more about it. There you go. Yeah, so we won uh, Brewtown uh, last year. So we won a GC down there, which uh, was our only category, uh, our, our, actually our only event that year that made us uh, eligible to come to the Jack. So we were lucky enough we won that, which gave us the bung draw. Um, we previously came over about three weeks ago uh, and just completed the Royal and as we were travelling around America we found out that we were lucky enough to get the draw for the Jack so um, we basically had to pack all our gear up again, convince our wives that we were allowed to come back and here we are. Um, it's been a pretty, it's a pretty, pretty amazing kind of dream. Barbecue's quite a relatively new thing in New Zealand. It's been going about three years. Um, when we started out, believe it or not, our team two or three times became dead last in barbecue. Yeah. 
Yale is part of the learning process. It is. Uh, we struggled a long way with it. Um, even when we came back for the Royal, there's quite a big difference between the flavour profile of New Zealand. Even that, we're trying to follow the American way of low and slow. Uh, we've noticed as you go down different states around America, there's definitely a big difference between sweet, heat, dry rub, wet rub. Uh, there's a huge variation in uh, rubs, sauces, and different flavour profiles is our biggest thing we've struggled with. Um, we know we can cook good. Uh, it's just trying to get the flavour right on the day and as you know with low and slow barbecue, you've got to crack it on the day. We intend to beat Australia. <laughs> it's very important uh, that we beat Australia. Uh, we've beat them in the rugby. Um, they're not that good at sailing either. So we're just going to prove that we can beat them in barbecue as well. And that's very important that this part of this uh, interview actually goes up. Uh, they'll understand completely what, where we're coming from here. So uh, it's probably the first, if they're good enough on the day, they might, they may pull a sec. So, uh, we are a Hungarian team, uh, our name is Barbecue Sun City Seged, and this is the first time that here we are in the Jack, and uh, we would like to win, <laughs> as if it would be possible. I have a motorcycle shop, uh, our pitmaster uh, has a spicy factory, and uh, a truck driver, and a beautiful lady. <laughs> I'm Dennis Paulson, uh, the coordinator uh, to do the I Know Jack. And this year's teams, uh, we select four American teams and one international team. Uh, our American teams is Parrothead Smokers. Uh, he's from South Dakota. Killer V, uh, he's from Texas. Uh, Rub My Rack is from Minnesota, and Four Legs Up is from Kansas. Then we have the team, international team, uh, Team Barbecue War Knits, and they're from, help me out here, Mark. Uh, New, Zealand. New Zealand, right, right, New Zealand. List of ingredients. Now, this is, is, is going to be a completely blind competition. Over here on our tables, we have two boxes, one with the cool goods and the one with the uh, uh, staples that they're going to be using. It's completely blind, and they have one hour to cook. Uh, they also have 10 minutes to look at the ingredients before they start cooking. I will give them the go-ahead when they can come in and look at the ingredients, and then the go-ahead to uh, cook. The ingredients we have this year, first of all, is the Chalupa Steak. Uh, this is a new product that they just started coming out with, uh, I don't know, three or four years ago. It's off the butt, and uh, it's uh, beef, of course. Then we're also going to have a recipe for them to do for an appetizer, and that's going to be pecans. So the list of ingredients are Tabasco sauce. Pecan halves, Worcestershire sauce, garlic salt, uh, the steak, Jack Daniels, a bottle of Jack Daniels to cook with, salt and pepper, two sticks of butter, one dozen of eggs, a half a gallon of milk, flour, brown sugar, russet potatoes, asparagus, yellow squash, zucchini, sweet uh, peppers, sweet, uh, jalapeno peppers, mushrooms, green beans, sweet onions, and cherry tomatoes. Now that's what they have to use. Whether they use it all, that's up to them. Uh, that's, com you know, creativity on their part. From the get-go, how long they got? They have one hour to do all that. Um, the main protein. Now they can bring in other items, one other item as far as an ingredient and one other item as far as a spice. So that's uh, what they're going to be doing. Uh, they are 10 minutes apart. We do that so the food will be warm from Team 1 to Team 5. Good morning. I'm Haimo, uh, international member of KCBS. Lucky enough to be able to judge I Know Jack Grilling today. It's going to be a true fun again. A great start into a marvelous weekend. What to say? Happy to be here. I'm Maxine Kilgore from Huntsville, Alabama, and this is my first time to 
do the I Know Jack, and I'm so excited. I'm looking forward to see what the teams can give to us. And like Hamo, I'm looking forward to a great weekend, even though we may be swimming out of the park. <laughs> Hey there, my name is Adam and I work in marketing and PR for Lodge Cast Iron out of South Pittsburgh, Tennessee. Really excited to be here. I've already had a blast and the day is just getting started. Can't wait to see what everybody comes up with to cook for us today. My name is Julie Lee. I am a KCBS member and I'm excited to do the I Know Jack. Been doing it a long time. I'm a legacy, that is true. My father, Tony Stone, started this part of the competition and we are keeping it going in our family. Our daughters are doing it as well. So we're passing on the good times at the Jack. Hi, my name is Danny Lamb and I'm getting ready to judge the I Know Jack about grilling contest. And this is my fifth year judging this particular contest. And I'm always fascinated by the creativity that the teams come up with. So I'm really looking forward to this year. Here's the part of the competition where we go to the guy with the biggest mustache. It happens every year. In this case, it happens to be Kelly Wurtz. Kelly's the chief cook for Four Legs Up Barbecue. Kelly, how you feeling? Awesome. It's still awesome? It's still awesome. Hey, it's always an awesome day, right? You have uh, taken off one of the gloves. Uh, I'm just curious. Is that for dexterity purposes or what? Because I kept cutting it and I'm afraid it was going to get in the mushrooms. Yeah, that wouldn't be good. Not good. Not good. All right, how's your partner over here doing? Thank you. He's awesome. Good. Too. Awesome too. All right. With Kelly here, can't with go Kelly back. here, you can't go back. It doesn't look like this is Kelly's first uh, ride around the block. He's trying to get the stage. I gotta get the app. Okay, can you get this? Sure, a, give this a turn, everyone. Small. I'll do that app. Yeah. All okay. I've got is butter in the bowl. All right. Now we're going to begin with the ladies. First place 
in the I Know Jack About Grilling, and I believe this is year 16, correct? 16th year? Um, the folks here at Jack Daniel Distillery bumped up this prize money as well. In fact, last year it was $1,000. This year it is $2,500. Beautiful barrel heads, some other goodies that Jeff and Chris are holding. And this is going home to Parrothead Smokers.